Hello there. My name is Chad Carlson. You can find me on GitHub at Chad W. Carlson, and I work for the developer relations team at platform.sh. My pro tips today relate to setting up your ProBot application for a modern development workflow, simplifying the registration process at the point of allowing you to actually register open pull requests of your application and test those changes on an entirely separate application before merging them into your production app. All I wanted to do first off was deploy the simple Hello World ProBot app and start delivering to uh, my repositories. When I started to do that, I found that first off that I wanted to simplify that first registration step, performing that first handshake with GitHub. I mean, typically as I had seen it at that point, it was a lot of putting that first registration call to GitHub and a lot of manual setting of credentials from that registered application as that real first step. And I ran into the first problem, which I'm sure isn't unique to Platform SH, was um, the environment that the project is deployed on in our system is a read-only file system. So I'm able to give it the name of my application, use all the credentials I've set up, or all the information I've set up in my um, manifest file, but that's about as far as I could get, and it would reject the registration. That's because GitHub was trying to write to my .m file on my read-only file system. So first tip I have for those of you who are probably gonna run into something similar if you're trying to make this registration simplified is I, def I created a mounted directory inside my project that had write access and then symlinked it to that .m file. Making that small change was enough for GitHub to write those initial credentials to my project and finish registering my application, get me set up to start delivering to my repositories once they were installed. Second, let's say I have my app and I've deployed and synced it to my GitHub repo where I'm, where I'm actually have the code. Uh, what happens if I branch? What happens if I open a pull request? The way our integration works is that if I define a directory with this write access, even if I delete that file, that .m file that I have separately registered for like, let's say a staging environment, when I perform a merge onto my production app, it's gonna overwrite the contents of that uh, directory with, with the write access. And obviously that's not what I want to happen. I want the credentials from my production app to stay the same, do what I want on a staging version of the application, and then continue with that workflow from there on out and not affect production anything other than the code I change for the behavior of the application. I can do this through the CLI in our system, but would be to delete that .m file as soon as possible, as soon as you can, right before you delete it, take out the contents of that file and convert them into environment variables specific to that branch. That way that you're not gonna get anything overwritten on your production environment, and you're still gonna have completely segregated apps full with the credentials that have been registered with GitHub for as long as you need that open. Even if you wanted to continue to have a staging environment always open. Lastly, I have a manifest file for my ProBot app in, in the repository and now in my project of, that's actually deployed. And during that first handshake, it's using this name attribute to fill out the field for that first registration called the GitHub. So what I did just as our team was playing around with it, right at the end of the, of the build process, when it's become available what URL my application actually is gonna be served from and what branch it's on, this kind of information specific to the environment, parse out that manifest file and rewrite that name attribute to have just something in parentheses specific to the name of the branch I'm working on. Try to register the app, it's automatically gonna have the name of the branch there. So it doesn't clash with the name of the production app and you can keep them separated if you have a bunch of apps for one organization account, for example. So even if you're never planning on using platform.sh, uh, feel free to check out the template that we created and see exactly how the code I, I've described is working. And uh, you can set up some isolated development and staging environments for your ProBot apps yourself. That's my five minutes. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the satellite and are staying safe and healthy out there. Take care.